This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Now, if you've been watching this channel for a little while, you'll know that recently, well, a few months ago anyway, I forget when, I was musing on the uh, on the question of um, how I get my guitar tones. Currently, when I'm recording, I um, I tend to go for uh, plugins. I use Positive Grid Bias Amp a lot, and um, I've recently just got uh, the update of the newer version of uh, Native Instruments Guitar Rig. And I get some good results with those. I'm very, very happy with them. But there's there's always that sort of kind of doubt. Is it's like, is this as good as a real valve amp? To my ears, they sound pretty authentic, those plugins. But it's, you know, should I get a real valve amp? Should I get something that's the, the genuine article? Um, you know, just for sake of comparison and for, you know, kind of having an amp in here. I've got a, a little modelling amp down there at the moment that I use during lessons, the Moor SD30, which is a great sounding amp, but it's still like, there's that itch that needs to be scratched. And I sort of talked myself out of it, um, you know, back when I did the uh, the video when I was thinking about, you know, kind of tubes or valves versus VST plugins, you know, I was thinking, which one should I, and I sort of talked myself out of the whole valve amp sort of thing and decided to go with, um, you know, just go with the plugins that I'm using at the moment, which I'm very, very happy with, as I say, but as I said, that there was still that itch there that needed to be scratched. So what I th thought I would do is get one of those um, Joyo Bantamp ones. You know the little heads. Uh, there's there's a Marshall flavored one. There's a Boogie flavored one. There's a Fender one. There's an AC30 flavored one. Either that or some of these. You know these solid state amps like there's the new Soldano Mini and there's the Diesel Mini and things like. That. So I was thinking about going down that route. And uh, I'll be honest with you. The only thing that stopped me was uh, the speaker cab that I would like to kind of have with one of those heads um, is out of stock. It's the Harley Benton um, 1B12 cab with the Celestian Vintage 30 in it. Um, that Vintage 30 makes a big, big difference. Um, if you haven't done so and you're interested in such things, then go and check out the, uh, I think it's on Harley Benton's YouTube channel, where they're kind of doing a, a comparison between the the vintage 30 loaded Harley Benton 1B12 cab and the the non vintage 30 one, the one that's just got some generic no name um, kind of generic speaker in it, and the difference is night and day. So I definitely wanted um, something with that Celestian speaker in it. I was going to get one of those Joyo Bant amps. Probably I was thinking the Jackman, which is the Marshall flavored one. Um, but then. I had a little bit of a, a thought caused by a YouTube video that just kind of cropped up in uh, my feed in the suggestions, and I thought, I'll check that out. And, um, well, here's uh, what I ended up deciding to do. Okay, so this is what I've decided to go for. It's a Marshall, the DSL-1C, specifically the DSL-1CR. Let's just break that down. It's um, DSL is dual super lead, essentially a twin channel amp. Uh, one watt combo with reverb so there you go um output wattage is one watt with the addition optional power reduction to 0 0.1 of a watt now why would you want to do that many people will ask many people will know but just in case uh, you're a bit hazy on that essentially valve amps and marshall amps especially tend to sound best when they are cranked so the idea is that um, rather than having uh, the full wattage just kind of ticking over to get a nice kind of um, a nice polite volume level that won't annoy the neighbours. Um, you know, rather than uh, turning the one watt volume down, you uh, turn it to 0 0.1 of a watt and crank that up, and it'll sound better because it's you know it's get breaking a bit of a sweat basically, and that's uh, how. Um, as I say, Marshall amps tend to uh, like to be run. Digital reverb, effects loop, um, one 8-inch Celestian speaker. The valves are um, two um, ECC83 preamp valves and one ECC82 power amp valve. 
Um, there is, I guess, a little bit of a consideration about, you know, what with world events, are valves going to be readily available? Well, I just had a, before I started filming this, a little bit of a look on a UK valve supplier website, uh, Watford Valves, and everything's pretty much in stock. There, there doesn't seem to be, at the moment, any shortage. So what I may do is buy the amp and then buy you know kind of enough spare valves to keep them going for a while um i've had a little bit of a shop around uh for this amp in various places and uh, the, the best price i could find was here on pmt where they have the uh, the amp in for 219 pounds so you know kind of um marshall classic Marshall tones I literally have not been able to find a bad review of this amp and seen plenty of YouTube reviews and it does deliver classic Marshall tones at you know kind of sensible levels of volume that are going to be um, desirable for me in this little workspace here all for £219 yes please I think we'll have one of those and um, just logging into PayPal And there we have it. Thank you for your purchase. We'll e email you an order confirmation with details and tracking info. I've just bought myself a Marshall. Yay! So there you go. The Marshall DSL-1CR. As I say, the uh, the video for that amp, uh, the demonstration of it, which has been out a while. I don't know. I've not seen it before. But that, that, um, that video cropped up in me uh, suggestions and I watched it and... That sounds really rather good. And then so I searched out a few more videos and um, literally could not find anybody getting a bad sound out of that amplifier. Uh, so as you've seen, I've just ordered one and um, it's what I'll do is obviously it's too good an opportunity to miss to do a comparison between a genuine Marshall valve amp and any one of the uh, sort of Plexi and JTM45 and JCM800 uh, plugins that I uh, regularly use for recording just to do a side-by-side -side test to see which is which maybe you might make it a, a blind test to see if you chaps can uh, tell which is which that'd be fun wouldn't it anyway that's the amp ordered i'll uh, i'll let you know when it arrives and we'll do the usual unboxing and first impressions kind of thing and um yeah so looking forward to it turning up and that is the video for today folks hope you've enjoyed what you've seen and if that's the case please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done done so and why not drop me a like while you're at it as always don't forget the live stream every friday 5 p.m uk time where we drink beer and talk about music and guitars fantastic way to kick off the weekend i'd love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above, above all stay sane bye for now